Hey guys, this is Epic Boys, and today we have a review of the LEGO Star Wars The Phantom. Now, this is the second Phantom that LEGO has come out with. I think the last one was in 2013 or maybe 2014, correct me if I'm wrong. But that one was a lot smaller than this one. And personally, I know that a lot of people bought this set just for the Grand Admiral Thrawn minifigure. But for me, I just bought it for the Phantom itself, because it's a nice build. It's a Nymoidian shuttle, and I love the Nymoidian shuttle. But I didn't get a chance to get the old Separatist shuttle from the Clone Wars, which I kind of regret. I'm still looking for them. They're not, they're not that cheap, to be honest. But let's get right into the review. So the main figures here is Grand Admiral Thrawn. So there he is pretty good figure. Let's track him with the light here. Okay. So he's a pretty good figure. He's got printing on the shoulders. Comes with a blaster pistol. He's got blue hair. He does have a double-sided face, so if you flip it around, it's his angry face, but he's got blue hands because he's thrown, and he's got no print on the legs, which is kind of disappointing, but that's just the thrown menu figure, so I'm done with that, let's put him back. And next up is Kanan. So, let's fix the light. There we go. So, it's Kanan. He's got blue lightsaber. He's this piece. Nice. This hair piece and mask. The print on it's pretty nice. Let's take his lightsaber off for now. It's pretty good. And he's got olive green and sand green for the torso, which is pretty nice. He's got, like, an olive brownish arm. He's got brown gloves for the hands. He's got a blaster holster and some print on the legs, which is nice. And he does also have a double-sided face. So here's his normal face. And then that's him just smiling. And he does have the eye prints, which is kind of cool. Let's get on to the next one. Chopper. So, it's nice to get him again if he didn't pick up on the old Phantom like I did. He's got nice torso print and he's got shorter than a regular astromech. Here's a regular size astromech by comparison to Chopper, so. Yeah. So, let's get on to the Phantom itself. So, let's move all these more things out the way. For this. So, the shuttle right here is pretty nice. And the gear folds up like so. And it does that on both sides, so, just like that. It's pretty nice. And you'll put chopper right here. Open the cockpit. And you'll put in cane like that, and inside the cockpit, it's not attached with any studs, which is good, it's easy to get it in and out, and just place it like that, and the cockpit goes back on, so let's get to the play features, so, for this, um, you can open the back, it's got a nice sticker there, you can open the back, and in this crate, which came with it, you get two thermal detonators, you can put that crate in the back not the best grab this time, but whatever, um, and it has two spring-loaded shooters, if you see this little yellow piece right here, if you move that to either side, you'll launch the missile, so I'm just going to do it to one side here, yeah, you can see those, and I'm not going to go get those back because I just lost one, so... Here is the fin. It's pretty sturdy, so you can pick it up, swish it around. It's not gonna fall off or anything, so that's always good. And they advertise this as a play feature, but I wouldn't call it more of a play feature. I'd call it more of a design influence. So they said you could do that and use it as an escape pod. That's like the worst escape pod I've ever seen, but whatever. I don't really care. And that's just about it. So. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe down there. Turn on 
bell notifications if you want to know when we upload videos so you can be the first to watch them. And this is Epic Boys signing off for today.